thing then. Massa Moya. We both. This was originally a Wii title. We done on the Vita, and it is now compatible with the PlayStation TV. So let's check this damn thing out, because I've been always wanting to check this out. I've been told over and over again this fucking thing is awesome. So what do we got? This style has more easily defeated. All who stand before you recommend those for new. This uh, must attack, evade, and use secret arts carefully in order to progress. Not for the faint of heart. Now, is that just slightly harder, or are we talk about like severely hard? I'm, that I'm not sure of. So, I think we're just sticking with Legend. I want some evading, but I, I don't want it to be like severely hard. Oh, yeah, and there are two characters in this. Now, I don't know if they have completely different storylines, or if it's just swapping out the character. I'm not sure. I think they had separate storylines. I believe. Yes, yeah, so let's begin. Double jump. Interesting.
that's an interesting idea. I'm full, I can't stuff my face full of all healing shit. <laughs> That is gorgeous looking shit. Wish I could do some of the weapon combo stuff. That's gorgeous looking shit though. It's like a 2D Oimusha. Like I've heard, this is supposed to be very Metroidvania, as we're seeing so far with the map. There's an icon now. I guess battles are like random. Ah, that's what it's supposed to mean. Ah, it's supposed to mean for items. But yeah, I guess uh, fights are kind of just randomish, I guess. That's a bit different for Metroidvania. Though, um, what's that one game? Can't remember what that one game, um, Child of Light. Ooh, demon things. Yeah, that's basically what I mean by random battles. But yeah, Child of Light is a, like a traditional RPG kind of thing. But the the outside of combat is like a Metroidvania game. So, it's that same kind of idea just with a hack and slash instead. <laughs> Those are some dull looking scarecrow people. Yeah, we'll just walk the house. I'm sure they won't mind. What the? Whoa, what the? Whoa, look how animated they are. Damn. 
damn. This game looks fucking sexy as hell. My stream is not doing this game justice, but the recording will be much better when it's uploaded on the main channel. I am definitely... Ooh, get them. Personally, I'd whether if the enemies were just pre-existing in the womb. Switch while doing it too, that's good too. Now, yeah, so I'll care of themselves to have a level system. kind of settings we can do. Okay, we can change the playstyle, audio, configure. Okay, so... Ah. Uh, so you can change it to the plus pad. That was one thing I think I would like to change. Now, did the little spiritual things come back? No, it don't appear so. I gotta say, this is a very gorgeous game. The play... I find the, the random thing a little disconnecting from the game a little bit. But it is very fun combat. I might actually try out chaos mode if I ever take a go at this. Well, that might be like Ninja Gaiden hard, possibly. That might also be suicide mode. Be nice if they interact with some doors, maybe. Or secrets. We don't know how deep secretiveness is in this. So far, there ain't too much going on with the level design so far. But I would hope later on. It gets more 
interesting, it would help. Three weapons, so you get a lot. Ooh, now it's looking like Prince's Crown, where the actual thing moves. Oh, well then, let's see what the boss has. ケサガキに切られたと思うだが不思議なことに怪我一つしておらねば足もついておるあれは確か縄文前雪の城様に牢石物が突然切りかかり思わずこの身を立てとかばって倒れたはずがここはなんという Can't jump or anything. Well, you don't look creepy at all. Jinkaro! Oh, no, Kekka, you are Queen Juni Haran. Oh, I am Dokoi Moyuki. Akunyak Mudo no Bajiata. Shabuts Niko, this save I eat us. Fuck is your part, man. What of a no sheer Kagami no Momohime? Oh, he got you right, I must. うまく打ったようじゃ魂が抜けておるな気なされる娘も箱根の結界を超えれば奴も動けぬ術が破れこれからこちらの魂が押し出されてしもたわ邪魔するのはあれに見える坊主らの仕業じゃな その声忘れるはずもないあの夜雪の城様を襲いし牢先者の声では歩まいかいかにもそう言いないあの人たちこそがきっと相手に乗り移る溺れる玉移しの悲劇今やそのご体のことごとくがこの伊豆な人苦労
Parts of that other ball is his full health. Man, the details and everything, it's Crazy shit. Shit. Oh no, I don't love that shit. <laughs> Do not be doing that crap. Here we go. Of course, it'd have to be a plot device. Your, your artwork is just popping out. もう申し訳ございませんお遅れましたのは感動参道に貼られた結果を避けるのに大回りしたためにございます佐賀野からは街道に出られず北に回り越中越中へ次に<笑> ひだから飲麦峠を越えて新州に入りええもうよいお前の話はいつも長すぎるして例のものは持ってきたか青春の同章千字村正その御霊の宿る沖名面ここにお持ちいたしました村正ほどの妖刀で脳手は我が溺れ
党と名の付くからにはそれ相応の触りがあってのことたちまち見いられ人を切らずにはいられなくなりましょう見いられることなく刀の容器を制して操る剣術がおぼろ流よ縮小の分際でいらぬ心配じゃわ Talking more heck くらおれようともさやに収まれば血をすするためによみがえるそのような刀でのてはこちらも Blade I need, but not the boobs I wanted. Yashiro knew Samerale Tamer or Mochida Stanaga, Kitsne Nakama Nishira Reba. Nesama, I don't know you on a hido shoe to near Kawakari Maseno. Kore Mohito any, Jinkuro Samanga Tame, Doka or Sashikura Saimose. Hm. So she could get in trouble for that, eh? ずらは道という道に網を張り逃がさぬつもりらしいが神馬両断の村正があれば結界など物の数ではない何はさておき今は急がねばならん墓場の堂でお前を待っておる間に面倒なことになった東海道より付きまとっていた蘭海という坊主
But yeah, I think they both have completely different stories, though. Why do I see a lock? Oh, that's probably the... Oh, yeah, that was a wet burial. Remember at the very beginning when I turned around, there was a wet burial. Looks like we might be getting in a little more Metroidvania in this. Ooh, was that a really big ass piece of soul? Yes, it was. Well, let's see. Try the other kill though now. Since I didn't see a way to go to the main menu from the kill though now. I believe they are two completely different stories, but that could be wrong. I have to see, have to see. Ender Scroll of the Demon Blade. <laughs> Bless me. See how he animates. Bunch of bones on his back. Maybe they are the same because this might be the guy he was saying he wanted to possess originally. So maybe the story might be the same, you know. Let's get back to where that was, and I guess we'll find out. His float's kind of eh. Oh, this is actually different. Actually, in a cave. Maybe the stories are different then. It's a nice running cycle too, actually. Oop. 
How about... I guess that's one way to get rid of them. I like how he seats his sword. Very nice. Actually, like a nice little photo there. Stay still, bastard. <laughs> Guess a very gorgeous looking now. の君に切りかかるぞ。逃げようと思うておるなら無駄な
Oh, he has memory loss. Oh, he just literally told you he doesn't win them bullshit. そこいらに隠れてるのもその毒ロダンの連中とやらか。俺一人しますするのにご体操なことだ。あ、let's see what they got in store. Oh, they just look really good. I guess he's just gonna have a big fight with a bunch of ninjas. Oh, oh, oh we could have this weed jack from Ninja Turtles. <laughs> It's the one in the back in the hole, yeah. That one's still broken. And this one fucks shit up. Oh shit. And this guy is a lot more serious than the monk. Oh shit, he, he is way harder than that fucking uh, monk.
Yeah, he was a lot tougher than the monkey, though. It makes me wonder how their stories. その腕を見込んで立っての Oh, I bet she's gonna ask him to go get that mask. That's how those stories cross. ゆかりある投稿に力を貸しております。お聞きただけましょうや。わざわざ綺麗どころに化けてのお膳立てだ。話ぐらいは聞いてやるぜ。上に何を<笑> カジと次から次へと世話しねえ。もうない。狐に鍛冶跡かけて根根なんて落語のうちでもねえだろう。その狐だよりの。今も刀を打っておいてなのです。おや、あなた様の持つ立ちは村政ではありませんか。村政は波ならぬ霊というえ、たとえお礼をとも鞘に収めれば容器を食らって。てめえのことで何かわかるんじゃねえかと思って。これから胃が毒ロダニエ乗り込もうと考えたんだが、そうは言っても敵本人に俺一人心もとなく思ったところへ濡れて A boy in his kids. There's <laughs> two. So that's pretty good. Two storylines. Gorgeous art. Really fun hack and slash combat. And I'm assuming Chaos will probably bump it to more of a Ninja Gaiden difficulty. Well, it's not as merciless when you get hit, I would assume. That was a far bell boss than the monk, though. The monk was really, really easy. I 
I could have done a little bit on the blocking a bit. But it was a fun fight still. Now, the thing I'm curious about at this point is, do they ever go into each other's worlds? Or do they just have completely separate areas they're at? Because, I, I mean, I would assume somehow those stories are connected. Well, it's not impossible. They could just be completely unconnected. But I would find it very unlikely. I wonder why he has a magic wet barrier thing keeping him in, though. I mean, it made sense with her, because she was being trapped. I hope I nailed it. Holy shit. Look at this freaking place. This looks awesome. I want to try see if I can get a a winning pitcher. Looks so cool. He's on the rooftops. I just have fun taking pitchers now. <laughs> oh shit! You can get on get higher too. Ooh, what? But that was an incredibly bizarre encounter. Why is to flying skull in there. Well, he does have some pretty dark looking eyes. <laughs> My next arch nemesis, T. Evil freaking T. Man, this game looks so gorgeous. Definitely. What are you doing, you? Okami no me to yara de, ho in la no musunda kekkaiga, jun o mujin ni harimegura sare. あなた様と言えどおしとることはできますまい封印を破りうるは技物の用途に他なりませぬ。So there will be different doors. Oh, so you actually can go up and down some. I was wondering about that. Oh no, I'm not a little child. Don't eat me. Oh, and you can actually go down now. Interesting.
Anyway, well, at the owl mark. About an owl. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. This really holds up a lot to a lot of stuff I've heard about over years. From the Wii to the Vita version. I definitely say it looks very promising. It's a very good game. Definitely something I'm adding to my very, very want to do a let's play list. And I'm curious. We can take a gander at the trophy list. Because Airship Q was a small trophy list. I'm assuming this would be a full one. Oh, yeah, and there's the DLC that is. Um, Unique to the Vita version. There were four of them? Shit. I how much those are, because it's a pretty freaking sexy ass game when it comes to the artwork. <laughs> but never will, never seems to ever disappoint. It looks like every fucking thing's hidden <laughs> practically. Hot spring events. Defeat a boss without taking damage. Wandering the roads. That would probably take a while. There were a lot of fucking swords on there. 88 dishes. Now, I didn't notice there was a cooking option there. And apparently that one has to do with both paths. Yeah, like I said, we're winding down here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed the preview of some of these games that I definitely want to add this to my Let's Play list for sure. Overall, I definitely recommend fucking buying it. Go buy it. Let's see, um, can we look at the... That's for updates. Can we look at the, um, the PSN store, see what the DLC looks like? Doesn't seem like even... Looks like it's not going to really make it easy. I think that would be... What's the... No, oh, those are hints. Online storage. Yeah, that's online storage. Well. I, I might have to look at the DLC. That's a pretty... A pretty slick game, I have to say. Definitely recommended whether you get the Wii version or the Vita version. If you're interested in the DLC stuff, uh, you obviously want to get the Vita. As far as I understand, that's all Vita exclusive stuff. But uh, the main campaign, as far as I know, is the same on the Wii. So if you have a Wii or the Vita or the PlayStation TV, I definitely recommend this for Hack and Slash Metroidvania. It's fucking Ninja Gaiden 2D. It's awesome. I'm really impressed it holds up to everything I've heard about, so. If you have any questions about the game, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for joining, and I'm going to see if I do this uh, every Sunday or something. Uh, something to do each Sunday, try out a bunch of games of that. But thank you for joining, and may you all have a very good day.